This is calculator question number 36 from SAT practice test 6 in the 2018 College Board prep book. It's also the April 2016 SAT. College Board gives us a table of values for the masses of rocks collected and they tell us the mean for Maria's rocks is 0.1 more than the mean for Andrew's rocks. So I'm going to write that as an equation. The mean for Andrew is 2.4 plus 2.5 plus 3.6 plus 3.1 plus 2.5 plus 2.7 all over 6. And that is equal to the mean for Maria, x plus 3.1 plus 2.7 plus 2.9 plus 3.3 plus 2.8 all over 6, except that Maria was larger by 0.1. The mean of the masses of rocks for Maria is 0.1 larger than the mean for Andrew. So if I subtract 0.1 from that mean after dividing by 6, the quantity on the right will be equal to the quantity on the left. On a calculator question, when I have a, an equation with only one variable, I like to put the left side in y1, the right side in y2, and find the intersection. Looking at these masses of rocks, I expect my mean to be between 0 and 10, and I expect the missing rock x to also be in that window. So I'm just going to use the standard window and hit graph, and my graph looks something like this. My mean is 2.8 for Andrew, and then for Maria I've got a line that looks something like this. And the x value where they intersect will be the mass of the missing rocks in kid by x. So calculate second trace on my TI-83 or 84. Scroll down to intersect, which is choice 5. Hit enter. And then just hit enter three times. There's no need to use your cursor to move closer. And I get x equals 2.6. And that would be my answer. Alternatively, I could do this algebraically but that's a lot more arithmetic and too many opportunities for error if I'm doing it by hand. Or I could type them all into my calculator, but again, that's a lot of typing to find the means and then do the rest by hand. You might as well just graph the equation and find the point of intersection. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.